Hey, it's Nathan with Crazy Eye Marketing, and we are currently building landing pages or squeeze pages with Optimized Press, and we're gonna set up a simple split test using Google Analytics and Google Experiments. In the last video, we built this squeeze page using one of Optimized Press's pre-built templates, and in this video, we're gonna build one from scratch. So go into your admin panel. I'm gonna copy this title real quick. Go to Optimize Press, create new page. And I'm just going to scroll all the way to the bottom here, looking for blank page. And there are a few different styles here. I'm just going to go with the full width one here. And I'll call this one B. So create page. And you see it's a blank page. So the sky's the limit with whatever we want to build. And I'm going to keep this super, super simple and make it completely different from this one here, which is simple as well but I'm gonna make this one even simpler. So I'm gonna add in a new row. I'm gonna make it one column. Scroll on down to the bottom, insert into page. Now we're gonna add an element. I'm gonna add in a text block. And it lets us edit the text here with the what you see is what you get editor. So WYSIWYG, just like your typical WordPress editor here. And I'm gonna copy in this right here, make this like that, h1 tag, make this an h2 tag, going to center it all, come down here, hit insert, now I'm going to add another element, I'm going to call this or look for an opt-in box. And we have several different styles here for our, our opt-in forms. I want to keep it plain and simple. This one looks pretty plain and simple, but I'll see what else they have in here. Oh, this one's pretty plain and simple as well. Same with that one. Um, all right, I'm just going to go with that first one right here. So form HTML integration type, going with active campaign. Select my list here. Remember, there's the description form ID, which could be helpful. Thank you page URL we're going to do in the next video. Uh, we could add a name or request the individual's name or disable it. I'm disabling it. Gonna come up back to the top here, content. And we're going to go ahead and edit this and delete this privacy notice. That looks good. Submit button. And you can go ahead and create a custom button if you want or use a default button or upload a button image. I wanna use a default one for this particular example. And if you click the advanced options button, you'd go to the optimized member integration. So if you wanted to integrate that here, you could. I'm gonna go ahead and hit insert though. And we go ahead, hit save and continue. And hit view public link. All right, so that is plain, but I wanna make it or clean it up just a little bit. I want to make this a little bit bigger. This maybe a little bit smaller. Maybe change the colors a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do now. The little pencil option. So let's go ahead, change the color here. Go into the text editing. Now, if you know CSS, you can add this in here. If not, uh, you just use the WYSIWYG editor as best you possibly can and get the most out of it that you can. Hit insert, see how it's looking. Up, oh, it broke the line, I don't wanna do that. So let me change the size a little bit more. I'll go with 58, 70, insert. Sales funnel training on an underline free. Make that really stand out. Free, insert. Save and continue, okay, view public link. So there we go, we have a very, very plain landing page. But who knows, it may convert better than our pretty one over here. That's a whole benefit to split testing to see which one works. Now as a side note, you may have noticed that I've been hitting save and continue and then viewing a public link to see how it looks. You could also show and hide controls to get an idea of what it'll look like. So that's just a, a side note there. The last step here, we want to publish our page and we'll save and close. 
Now we could come back to pages and view our page. And there we go. So we now have two different pages. We have page A and page B that we can go ahead and split test and see which one gets the highest conversion rate.